going on while I'm gaming here and I'm back with another Minecraft Let's Play. So today I am back on the regular um, texture pack or something, whatever you want to call it. You might notice that I have a lot of stuff in my inventory and that's because I was spawning for something very big that you might have just saw right there. Right there. I'm actually making a Walmart. No joke, I'm making a Walmart and um, I realized with Bucket you can actually have money. See if you go slash Val, you can have a balance for money. And uh, what I'm going to be doing actually is I'm going to be creating a shop so that people can come and buy stuff with their money. And I'm going to have ways to get money such as maybe I'm going to be able to pay someone um, maybe for helping me take the grass out of this. Or you know, if they're, if they're just being nice, I might just give them some money. Because I think that's kind of a cool way, and I've seen some servers set up like that, and I really like it. So I was thinking about that, and I actually really do like this. And by the way, I'm back on regular texture pack, because, well, I don't know why, just because I feel like it. And yeah, so I'm going to be just spawning stuff for this. This is the only thing, only because it's for everyone, really, and um, it's just kind of a cool little thing that I'm going to be doing. So I didn't really... I mean, it doesn't really matter much that I spawn the things for this. It's more of the uh, money that's going to matter. If I spawn money, that's what's going to make a uh, difference. So, uh, let's get straight into this. And uh, so the materials I use for this, wooden planks, obviously, a few ladders, tons of wooden stairs, a few dark wood pieces, and that's about it. Um, so, welcome to Walmart. This took me and my friend, uh, you guys don't know him, a, a natural friend in real life, about half a day to do. And um, so yeah, this is going to be my favorite room right here. I don't know why, I just kind of like it. And here's where you guys are going to like, this big room in here. So in here we actually have a under, or well a possible uh, basement, so you could just hollow this whole bottom place out and it could be a, a second story basement. Up here we have the possibility of a second story. So if I ever wanted to make a second story, that would be possible. So there's tons of possibilities with this, and that's what I kind of like about building Walmart just um, kind of on a hill. Um, there's more actually possibilities than just building them on a regular flat plane, I guess. So let me. Do so what I'm going to be doing is placing signs, um, and those signs will actually. Say like um, buy one piece of coal for twenty five dollars or something like that. It's not gonna be like that, but it's not gonna be that pricey. But um, like you know maybe buy fifteen pieces of coal for twenty five dollars. That's more like it. And um, so then you could give money to people, and that would be that. Now one thing that I we one thing that I do want to actually try to do is set up permissions. Uh, but as of right now, I'm kind of struggling doing that because. I just realized that whenever I set up permissions, I always do it wrong somehow, and whenever I build, I can't build. I set the, the the usual person that just joins to be able to build, but it doesn't work, I guess. I don't know. But um, let's just go home real quick. And um, I'm going to show you guys my mushroom farm. Now, this is totally finished. And I realize this is probably a weird way to introduce it but this is my mushroom farm <coughs> excuse me this is my mushroom farm it's working very good and when I click the lever out there it will uh, these pistons will retract this one will retract I had to do a sticky piston here for the redstone wiring not to interfere and there's a piston here that will retract all of these will flow all of the mushrooms down here and they will get deposited down there open the doors and you can do that. The reason why I had glass right there is because sometimes zombies and monsters spawn and um, that isn't very good when you're trying to make a mushroom farm. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to harvest them and the reason I'm doing that is so I can replant because obviously you need something to start there uh, to spread. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it for a second and if you come over here you can actually see all of those mushrooms are getting deposited down here. So inch by inch they're actually all going. It's kind of hard to see but let me just make sure my brightness is turned all the way up so you guys can see. But yeah, that's kind of how I've been going about harvesting 
and um, this is my little mushroom farm. I find it kind of useful, actually I find it very useful when I'm needing to make some food because mushroom, mushroom soup, I guess, is one of the best ways to um, regain your energy. So then I plant it like this so that one's on each side. Uh, they're both on different sides, excuse me. So I harvest it like that, or I plant it like that, and they'll spread and it'll kind of be red mushrooms and then regular mushrooms, I guess, and then they'll kind of just go down, spread everywhere. But let's go harvest the rest of the mushrooms that we've got, and um, we can do that just by heading down to the collection area. One last thing, actually I have two great pieces of news. Um, oh yeah, right there, I tried to make a uh, little underground a trap to get into my house. Um, two great pieces of news. First of all, I have, since of, I believe, 1.30 maybe-ish? No, no, no. I think, I, I think it was... Hmm, wonder where you can't... Um, I think it was like maybe... I want to say maybe 12.30 uh, today. I actually got a accepted to revenue, sh revenue share my Tutorial Master videos. This can be helpful for you guys because I'm going to definitely be posting a lot more now. Um, and this can be helpful for uh, you guys in another way because uh, all the tutorials that I haven't been able to post, I'm going to be able to post them now because uh, I've been kind of waiting for that that moment when I can just post um, and kind of get rewarded if, in a sense for posting because all of my hard work tutorials, all these tutorials are very hard to make. They take a lot of my time and I kind of was waiting for all the good ones to uh, post until I got revenue sharing videos. Now don't get this confused with um, don't get this confused with partnership. I did not receive partnership. I received revenue sharing videos, meaning I can post whenever or I can put uh, ads whenever I want on my videos. I, c I don't necessarily Actually, I don't, so I don't necessarily. But I don't have any of the actual um, partnership uh, features. So I don't have thumbnails or upload date times or stuff like that. I don't have access to that yet. I will be applying for partnership here in a few months. But until then, this is what I'm going to be having. I'm going to be having revenue sharing videos on tutorial. Okay. So to another part of the video. This is actually a very exciting part for me. We have installed a plugin called Anvils. Now, basically, what Anvils are are they are a way to repair your items using an anvil. So, if you see here, when I click on it, it says you're out of diamonds. What will happen is, whenever I want to put uh, and repair these, I won't need exactly a stick. I'll just need a diamond. I'll put the diamonds in here. So, I'll put like four or five diamonds. I'll click on this and uh, this iron block with all my diamond tools, and it will repair them all. And you have to have diamonds in here, so technically, it isn't like cheating. Uh, but that is how I'm going to repair all of my tools now. This works with iron, uh, iron I believe, and stone I think. Yeah, I believe it works with stone and stuff like that. Now another really cool feature of this is the cauldron. Now the cauldron, or the cow, I don't really know how to say it. The cauldron is basically a, ma a massive cooker for food. So if you were to put a piece of meat in here, let me just spawn one piece of meat. I'll throw it away after I'm done. One um, pork, actually. I pork three. Let's just do that to show you I can do it in bulk. So then I'll just take out these and I'll put the pork in. And then I will give the console this command, slash cook. And then it says click the chest. Click the chest. And it takes about 30 seconds to do. And... Um, then it will be cooked. I'm not sure if it's 30 seconds for a full batch, but I'm sure it doesn't take that long for three. So, um, yeah, it's, I, th I think it's 30 seconds. So we'll come back there um, near the end of the video. This mob spawner, um, as of right now, is working very good. Um, what else do I have to talk about? Oh, yes! Um, I have actually submitted a video to Minecraft.net. It is a world tour. So if you guys are new to WOM Gaming and you're wondering what this whole world's about, uh, showing I'll show you the whole entire world if you go to um, youtube.com slash minecraft.net. Now, I don't know exactly know if that video is going to be posted, 
but I know for sure that I tried to post it, and if it doesn't get posted, well, I guess it doesn't get posted. So let's see if this is cooked, and yes, it is cooked. So as you can see here, we have three pieces of pork. I'll just eat them real quick, and um, yes, so another, wow, that's pretty laggy, um, but another feature, or another plugin, excuse me, that uh, somebody wanted me to download was God Mode. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because of building projects. I've lately been doing a ton of building projects, such as this one, where I would fall off the cliff and die and have to get all my stuff back and stuff like that. So what this plugin enables you to do is select God Mode. So one of the features of God Mode, after I just did take that, is no fire. So when I step into this fire, you'll see that nothing happens. Basically, this will happen for lava, fall damage, anything like that. Mobs, mobs can't hurt you and stuff like that. And it's easy to take off. You just do slash God and God mode is, is disabled. And, well, here, let me just take a few fish for a second. And, um, oh, hold on. I did no fire. Sorry. No fire. Oh, slash no fire. I don't exactly know the command for it, but I believe it's something like no fire. And when you select that off, you're back to normal. Now, the only reason, once again, why I'm going to use this is for that only reason that um, I need uh, to be able to not get hurt doing big projects because it's kind of annoying when you fall off a very tall building and um, you just die because, you know, you were trying to build something and stuff like that. So let me just turn back on God. And I believe that's going to be all for this Let's Play. I know I'm kind of talking a lot in my next on my few Let's Plays. But I've just been having a lot of fun on this server, building tons of stuff. Um, this... This was just a blast to build, and um, yeah, I'm not done at all. Uh, nowhere near done, so don't think that it's that's it. I'm probably going to do a second story. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go check out my giveaway that I'm doing on tutorial for being able to revenue share videos. Giving away at, uh, uh, headphones, um, in-ear headphones, and yeah, the giveaway will be held from now to the end of August, so go check that out. All you have to do is like and favorite the video, subscribe to Wom Gaming, and tutorial to be eligible to win. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to have a great day. Wom Gaming is checking out. Bye.